Right, let's have a brief look at aggregate demand, at the equation, and when aggregate demand can shift. Aggregate demand is a fundamental concept in economics. Really, aggregate demand is just code word for actual growth. When there is an increase in aggregate demand, there will be an increase in actual growth. Um, it's a measure of spending in the economy. That's very important. So this equation you need to memorize and keep it firm in your head. Aggregate demand is a measure of the amount of consumers spending in the economy, of investment, of firms spending in the economy, investment, of government spending in the economy, and of net export spending in the economy. So all these three, all these uh, four things are all of the spending that actually happens in the economy. Add all of that up and you get a measure of aggregate demand, total demand in the economy. Uh, and that gives you a measure of actual growth. Right. So aggregate demand is downward sloping. Downward sloping because of the wealth effect. Uh, when the price level falls, inflation in the economy falls, people feel wealthier, which means they're more likely to, to spend stuff uh, and therefore increase growth. So, um, downward sloping aggregate demand. Uh, Macroeconomic equilibrium is where AD equals AS, so that gives you P1 and Y1. Very simply, when will aggregate demand increase? So AD will increase when any of these variables increase. So if there is an increase in any one of these things, there will be an increase in aggregate demand and there will be an increase in economic growth. So if I increase aggregate demand, it means aggregate demand will shift to the right. And when it shifts to the right, there is an increase in actual growth from Y1 to Y2, and therefore a reduction in unemployment. But there is also some demand pull inflationary pressure. Remember, demand pull inflation is caused when aggregate demand increases. I'm not going to go through these effects in detail here. If you want to understand why does growth increase, why does inflation increase, watch my exam tape video on the effect on aggregate demand. Um, on the various macroeconomic indicators for a deeper understanding, which you will need for your exam. For now, though, aggregate demand will increase from an increase in any of these variables. So maybe consumption has increased. Maybe there's been a, a rise in incomes in the economy. Maybe there has been uh, a reduction in interest rates. Maybe um, there has been an increase in consumer confidence. Maybe there has been um, an increase in wealth, people's wealth, an increase in house prices, an increase in share prices. Maybe the availability of credits increase. All of these factors will increase consumption. I guess the biggest driver, you could say, is an increase in real disposable incomes. That probably drives consumption the most. What about investment? Investment, remember, in economics is defined as spending by firms on capital goods to increase the productive capacity of their business. So investment is spending by firms on capital. So when might that increase? Well, again, if there is a reduction in interest rates if there is an increase in business confidence, if there is um, an expectation there is going to be a boom in the economy, if revenues are high, if profits are very high, um, if demand in the economy is very high, if the level of spare capacity is very low in firms. These are all big drivers of why investment might increase. If government spending increases for any reason. Similarly, not just government spending, but if taxation falls, then consumer spending will rise as well. And also if net export spending increases, so maybe there is a rise in incomes abroad, which is going to increase the demand for exports. Maybe there is a fall in incomes at home, which is going to reduce the spending on imports. Maybe there is a fall in the exchange rate, which will increase aggregate demand. If you don't understand now, watch my video on exchange rate impacts. Uh, maybe there is a, a reduction in the amount of government restrictions on, on free trade, which makes it easier to export. Um, so a whole host of reasons why. Maybe there is an increase in international competitiveness, which makes exports in the domestic country cheaper. Any one of these factors can increase these variables, which therefore will lead to an increase in aggregate demand, where aggregate demand will shift to the right. Vice versa, if any of these variables fall, AD will shift to the left, and you see the opposite. A reduction in growth, an increase in unemployment, a reduction in demand for inflationary pressure. But again, watch my video on the effects of these variables to fully understand that. That's aggregate demand done. Simple as that. Make sure you're savvy. There are probably about 25 different reasons why AD might shift. Know them all, because this is a very common exam question, knowing when AD is going to shift. Thanks very much. See you next time.